In today's video, I'm going to show you the best network optimization for your windows in order to get the lower ping, fixing the jitter and getting the faster internet speed while you gaming in 2025. And guys, also in this video, we are not going to use any third party application like TCP optimizer or any other. So without wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. Before going toward over any optimization, it is always important to remove all the previous junk cache from your system. So for that you have to head over to your windows search and search for clean and open up the disk clean up application on your pc now select out here your c drive or the drive where you install your windows and hit ok and open up this clean up window now from here you need to guys select all the boxes from here that include the download program file temporary internet file directory shutter cache delivery optimization temporary files and just leave the recycle bin if you have some important data inside it now click on the show key button and delete these files out of your system so now the next step you have to head over to your windows search and search for control and open up the control panel inside your system settings now you have to go for network and internet now you have to go for network and sharing center and guys here on the left side you will find out this change adapter settings so go for it and here you will find that all the adapters you have on your pc or laptop i'm currently using the ethernet so guys it is showing me the ethernet but if you are using the Wi-Fi, so guys, by doing this optimization, you can reduce your ping. But guys, that will not fix all your network problem. So therefore, if you are using the wireless connection, so guys, you need to convert onto the wired connection for getting the 100% performance out of your network by this optimization. So guys, you have to simply right click on the Ethernet, go for properties. Now the first step, go for this configure option and go straight into your this power management option. Now from here you need to uncheck this box that is the allow the computer to turn off this device to save the power so you have to uncheck this box from here and now head over to this advanced tab now from here you need to follow the same exact settings also on your pc in order to get the best performance out of your pc while gaming now you have to go for this property section and here you will find out advanced eee you have to go for this value and set it on to the disabled now go for ARP offload, go for this value and simply set it onto the disable. Now go for EEE max offload, go for it and guys set it onto the highest number available in this list. So in my case that is the 2.5 GB is full duplex, so I will go for it. Now next here you will find out energy efficient ethernet, so guys you have to go for it and also disable this value from here. Now go for flow control, go for it and simply set it onto the RX and TX enable. Now go for gigabyte light go for this value and set it onto the disable now go for green ethernet go for it and also make sure guys set it onto the disable now next here you will find out this interrupt modulation so go for it go for the value and set the settings onto the disable you have to guide the disable most of the settings from here so next go for this ipv4 check some offload so go for it and set it onto the rx and dx enable now go for a jumbo frame you have to go for this value and now from here guys you need to select the highest number available in this list so guys i'm selecting the highest number that is available in this list now you have to go for large send offload so guys go for it simply set it on to the disable now go for large send offload ipv6 and guys also set it on to the disable once you add that now you have to go for this maximum number of rssq so guys you have to go for it and guys make sure to set it on the same number that is the two queues on the default settings now go for network address set it onto the not present now go for ns offload go for the value and set it onto the disable now next here you will find out power saving mode so go for it and disable the power saving mode for your this computer now go for priority and vlan so go for it and guys make sure to set it onto the priority and vlan enable now you have to go for receive buffers go for the value and now guys you have to set here the highest value according to your pc so for checking that what is the highest value you have to simply type here 1000 and hit enter and here you will find out the highest number that is between 32 to 512 so guys you need to select the highest value that it will show you inside this window so hit ok go for the value and simply set it onto the 512 in your case it can be different so guys go for that value now go for receive side scaling so go for it and guys simply set it onto the disable now scroll down here you will find a stack to suspended so go for it now go for it again and guys set it onto the disable now go for the select with suspended idle timeout so guys make sure to set it onto the default value 
I go for shut down vehicle plan you guys go for it and turn off the settings now you have to go for speed and duplex go for auto negotiation and guys set it onto the highest number available in this list in my case that is 2.5 gbps full duplex so guys set it onto it now you have to go for this transmit buffer and guys make sure to type here the same value that is the 512 now you have to guys go for this upd checksum go for it and guys make sure to set the default settings that is on your computer now here you'll find out wake up magic core wake up on magic packet on plan system wake up on pattern match and guys all these settings you have to guys go for it and simply set all these settings for the default don't change anything from here now just have to click on the ok button your internet will be gone for a few seconds and then it will be back again after doing all this optimization now just you have to close out of this tool and simply one time restart your pc once you restarted your PC, now in the next step, you need to download Gear Up Booster on your PC. This is one of the best software for optimizing your FPS and lowering your ping and packet loss issue. So guys, for downloading these tools, just simply open up the link from description and it will take you onto this Gear Up website. Click onto the Get Gear Up Booster and guys, from my link, you can get it for free. So guys, download the Gear Up Booster on your PC. Once you download, now simply log in here your account using your Google, Discord, or Facebook ID. Once you have logged in here, here you will find that all the games that are installed on your PC. Other than that, if you just go into this game tab, here you will find a thousand of the games that you can use to optimize your ping and your network settings. So just go for home tab and here you will find that all the games that is available on your computer. Just you have to click on this boost button and it will start optimizing your network route for getting the lower ping while you came in. So guys once it's loaded up so it will automatically find the best region and best node for you but if you want to guys optimize that so you can go for this auto server and here you will find out all the servers that is supported by the software so i'm from the middle east so i will go for middle east this is the nearest server for me so guys you have to stack that and click on the confirm and that will be boosted your games so i'm not doing it right now now go for the next option that is the nodes so guys here you will find out all the servers in your region and in front of that you will find out the ping that you can get if you use that specific server it will automatically find out the best server in the real time while you're playing games and optimize your ping while you're gaming. So guys, once you launch the Gear Up Booster, now you just have to click on this launch game button and launch the game using the Gear Up Booster. I hope so you love this video. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this optimization in the comment below and I will see you in the next video.